Reginald Perryman with ReggiesRealEstate.com over here at a property in uh, Rosedale Park. So the investor brought this property um, earlier in the year. The investor had a hard money loan on the property um, as well as gap funding. So um, earlier in the year they were renovating this property. All was going well. Then the pandemic hit and all construction work stopped. But what didn't stop was the monthly payments on that hard money loan. Then Reggie came along and got it. This is my guy DeWan over here cleaning it out. So if you ever need clean out <laughs> services, this is who you call. <laughs> That's my bro right there. So um so yeah, we he, all construction has stopped on the property. Um payments were still needed. The investor didn't have the money to finish the project. I came along on the project through a referral actually I loaned the investor the money to finish the project I listed the property we got it sold and now we're here so we close over here wrapping it up final clean out um, but yeah I do this often I save investors who are stuck in projects whether it's on um, financing or to get the job done or finding other creative financing options for you so if you are stuck in a project or maybe you have a project that's not finished and the numbers make sense just give me a call this is Reginald Perryman ReggiesRealEstate.com over here in Rosedale Park closing deals hey so just um, going back through that property there in Rosedale Park and as I mentioned, oftentimes what happens is we get a lot of out-of-state investors here in the metro Detroit area that are taking on these huge projects. And again, one of my recommendations for investors, especially if you are investing from out-of-state, um, if a renovation project is going to take you more than three months, you really have to second guess that project overall. Um, one of the things I also recommend is you need to always be one step ahead of the market with your investment. So just to give you an example, let's say you buy a property and your purchase price, your acquisition price is 200000 You should be able to sell that property the next day for at least two ten, right? The reason I say that is because you want to always find the deals that will always have an exit strategy with the break even or better. Now, of course, we always want to profit, but things could turn such as the um, investor that had this particular property. So as you're doing repairs and you're going through the renovation process, I would check on the property. So let's say you put a furnace in, you did the electrical, you did the plumbing, so all your mechanicals are there. What is this property worth in its current condition? And if I had to sell this property tomorrow, what could I sell it for? So that's the mindset that you need to have going through um, a renovation project, especially if you are an out-of-state or foreign investor. And so just to give you another example with this property, when um, I first entered the property, it was really about 85% complete, but there were small things like um, you'll see in a couple photos here that um, just basically what was happening was the floors were not completely finished. Um, they were sanded, but they hadn't been finished. Um, there were some loose ends with some electrical fixtures and things of that nature. So um, I was able to list the property in its as-is condition, explaining to buyers that we're in the middle of the process of finishing this property. If you buy it now, you're going to avoid most of the competition that was out here in the market. So that's my suggestion number two. Always know your market. Because at that time, there was so much competition in the market where we were getting 10 or 11 offers per home. And these were homes that were completely renovated, auto, um, auto renovation was done and completed. But here's a property that's 85% complete. We have fewer buyers making offers, but those buyers had less competition 
and they, they, the benefit was the pro, the property was going to be completed prior to closing anyway. This property sold FHA, which means it had to pass all FHA inspection requirements, plus the buyers had a private inspection. The other good thing that was unique was um, there were some repairs that were not completely finished, and the buyer was able to make some selections um, before the project was finalized and completed. So again, sometimes you're going to need help. You need a realtor or someone here locally that can help you finish that project. We all get stuck at times when we're doing renovation projects, but you have to have a good exit strategy. The best exit strategy is buying the property right. So again, just picture the, the point guard and the defensive player that's checking the point guard, that point guard or that shooting guard um, usually will have a quick first step. So you want your properties to have a quick first step to be able to exit. If you pay the right price for the property, you're always going to be ahead of the market. So you want to keep that in mind. Again, this is Reginald Perryman with ReggiusRealEstate.com. I am saving investors here in the metro Detroit area.